We're going to pray over this studio. We're going to pray that it be a place where the presence of the Holy Spirit permeates the atmosphere. So, Prophet Rob, I'll ask you to pray first. And men of God, as you're led, just come grab the mic. Well, Father, I just thank you that you dropped 1 Kings chapter 10. The Bible says that when the Queen of Sheba came in to Solomon's house, that she had her breath taken away by the way she saw how the men and the women ser and women servants serve. Father, we just declare that as people come from around the world, from city to city, from place to place, that Father, that they wouldn't just come and encounter the Spirit, they would encounter the Spirit of joy that is on all the servants of this house. We just declare that the anointing of God is rising up, and this is gonna be a place in which people are called to, and as they come, their hearts will will be filled with your joy. We thank you now for your love and your grace that's being poured out. Bless this house and let salvation be found on this altar in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for this is truly the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our sight. I thank you, Father, that this is gonna be a beacon of light, not only in Texas, not only in America, but across the globe. Father, as we have dug this valley full of ditches, we thank you that you're filling it with power. Thank you that you're filling it with resources. Thank you that you're filling it with miracle testimonies. Thank you that this shall be an oasis springing out of dry ground that many that come across this, this house, this studio, whether digitally or physically in house, I thank you that it shall serve its purpose as a place of refreshment, of a place of revival, a place of spiritual awakening. Thank you that though your word says in the last days that darkness shall abound and deep darkness you said will cover the earth, but you said upon your people your glory shall be seen, that your light shall arise. Thank you that this is the fulfillment of that. We know that the devil has a plan for these last days. But we also know that you have a much better plan. For you said in the last days, says God, I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh, on young women, young men, old men, old women, and I shall show signs in the heavens above, wonders on the earth beneath. And in that day, multitudes shall fill the valley of decision. Thank you, Lord, that the best days for the church are not behind us, but the glory days of the church are yet ahead of us. And I thank you, Father, that this house shall pioneer a great spiritual revival across this nation from Boston, Massachusetts to, Ma to Maui, Hawaii, from Paso, Washington, down to Florida. This nation, America, shall be saved. Your fire of revival like a wave shall sweep across this nation one more time. That which Oral Roberts has sown, that which Catherine Coleman has sown, that which Benny Hinn has sown, that which has been sown shall not be in vain, but the culmination of it shall arise in this place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we covenant with you to give you all the glory, all the honor, all the power, and all the praise in Jesus name father we thank you that where the enemy desired to set up a stronghold Lord you set one up and we thank you Lord where the enemy thought he was winning where the enemy thought he was creating something that would come against your church Lord you sent a ministry to Austin God you sent a ministry to Texas Lord and we celebrate today Lord, we celebrate today for what is going to come to pass. Lord, for you see that there's the lost, the broken, the confused, the bound, the hurting, the one who hates you. But yet, Lord, you sent us, God, as your ministers, as your ambassadors to the earth. Lord, that we would proclaim the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And today we stand and we celebrate, Lord, not a ministry built by the hands of a man, but we celebrate the ministry built by the power of the Holy Spirit. And Father, we thank you 
Lord, we thank you that you have confused the enemy tonight, God. That although it looks dark in the nation, although it looks dark in the world, you are shining your light even brighter than before. And we will see a mass revival in the nation. We will see a mass, Lord, Lord, they will leave the kingdom of darkness. The Lord put this on my heart right now, an exodus, an exodus, not of the kingdom of God, but of the kingdom of hell. There's a great exodus coming, and they're walking into the kingdom of heaven. I see it even now. I see it even now. Open your eyes, the Lord says. Do you not see that the harvest is plenty? The harvest is plenty. Lord, you set up the stronghold, and we celebrate today. Come on, lift up your hands, begin to pray in the spirit right now. God, I thank you that you say, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. God, thank you that there is power in your name. There is power in your blood. There is power, God, that flows when we lift up your name. May you be exalted in this ministry, God. May the lost be saved. May bodies be healed. May the addicted be set free, God. We thank you for the power that's in the word of God, that it is alive and active sharper than any two-edged sword. God, we thank you that the Word of God, the uncompromising gospel of Jesus Christ will be preached in this place through media, God, through events, Father. We thank you that your favor surrounds this ministry like a shield. Have your way for the Spirit of the Lord is upon them, God. You've anointed them to proclaim freedom for the prisoners, to bring recovery. For the, for the blind God, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. We thank you, God, that there is power in your name. Have your way. Let people come here, God, who are bound, and may they be set free. God, may you be lifted up and people know that you are the chain breaker. May you be lifted up and people know that you are the promise keeper. You are the way maker. You are the miracle worker. Have your way. Do what only you can do in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this studio as a beacon of heaven. And Father, on behalf of this next generation, Generation Z, I repent on behalf of this next generation for all the places in which we've ran away, all the places in which we've been filled with confusion and doubt and worry and fear. And Father God, I, we speak over this studio that it will be a place of unity, that the generations are coming back together. We will not run from the church. This next generation will not run away from God. We are not running from our family, from our Father. And Father, on behalf of this next generation, I speak concerning this next generation that we are running back to you, Father. And let this studio be a beacon from the Father's house to the nations, that this next generation is not lost and God's not done with this country. In Jesus' name, we join in agreement under your word. Under your word, Jesus, we join together and unite. Everyone lift your hands in this place. Watching online, begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. Father, in the same way that you wrought special miracles through the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought handkerchiefs and aprons, and the diseases departed, and devils were cast out. Let every live stream be an apron. Let every broadcast be a handkerchief, saturated in the yoke-destroying, burden-removing anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let this place be a fountain, I hear this in my spirit right now, of a reviving of the revelation of the anointing in a generation. Let the revelation of the manifestation and the tangibility of the power of God be loose from this place. And Father, we believe that from this place, the head of Goliath will be severed. Media will be reclaimed through the power of the anointing in this house. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you as we devote this place, consecrated only for your glory. 
God, we pray, God, for more than a portion, but a double portion of your outpouring on this place. God, you have placed Diga in the secret place, and there has been an extreme crushing that has happened throughout your life since the moment that you were a child, Diga. But out of that greatest crushing has come a greater anointing. Something that has not been represented by the past, but something new, fresh, and exciting that God wants to do through your future. Something that God's gonna do through your generation that's gonna leave a legacy for other generations to carry it on until the Lord comes. And so Lord, I thank you for the integrity of this young man of God. I thank you for the double portion of anointing on this young man of God. And I pray for a protection over his staff, over his expression, over the support, over the partnership, over the partner, over all the finances and everything that you want to do in and through this ministry. It's not just for Texas, but it is for global ministry. And God, we thank you that this is a place where your fire is burning and will continue to burn for generations to come. And so to you and you alone, be all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' name. As we were, uh, as, as we were here sitting today, I really felt in my spirit, David, that even you coming into this studio, the Lord has used you. Uh, I see an image of the story of Judges where Samson will use the jaw of a donkey to conquer the Philistines. And God has used your mouth to conquer the world through the preaching of the gospel. But there's one more thing that is happening and it's already happening in the fall is that Samson took 300 foxes. He tied their tails together and put fire in their tail and released them into the fields of Philistines. And what's going to happen with this internship is it's going to be gathering of those foxes, tying them to their identity in Christ, putting the fire of the Holy Spirit and releasing them. And I saw that image. You're not Samson. <laughs> so we're not, I'm not speaking that over you in Jesus name. <laughs> we rebuke that. But that aspect of Samson's life, I do see that the Lord really wants to almost like release that into this ministry. He's releasing that. He's setting that up right now. We're not only it's conquering the world with the preaching of the gospel and the healing and the evangelism, but it's also of the equipping of the believers and sending them. And you've always done it. You reached out to different men of God, young men, and you always brought them under your wing and you've done that with me. But there's going to be this intentional work that's going to be done with teenagers and with youth. The interesting part is that when you're launching the internship, it's when we're actually bringing our internship to an end. So it's been seven years and we're bringing to an end because the Lord is leading us in a different direction. And I really just want to pray over this, that this will become a training ground. That foxes will be released into the fields with flame. And in fact, I want to take a moment and encourage everybody that's watching right now. And if you are a young person and you've been feeling a sense of destiny and a calling, and you've been wanting to be activated, to be equipped, um, not just in a Bible seminary, though those are great, but in the place where the Lord is moving with modern techniques, but also old-fashioned focus on holiness and righteousness, because we lack that today. Make sure that you check that out online and you sign up for the internship. Amen. I want you to stretch your hands right now and let's just, let's just dedicate this place to be a place of training for the next generation. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you have given this vision to David. We thank you that you have given this plan, Lord God, not only to win souls, but to equip soul winners, to raise an army, not just to gather an audience, but to raise an army. I ask you, may this be a spiritual boot camp where disciple makers, where leaders of tomorrow, were the influencers who will influence their world with the mission and the power of Jesus. May the foxes be gathered here. May they be filled with flame, with the burden for souls. May they be equipped with the anointing and the gifting of the Holy Spirit. 
and may they go back into the marketplace into the sphere of their influence carrying the flame of the Holy Spirit carrying the message of Jesus to their world God may out of this place come evangelists pastors prophets teachers and every ministry that you want to launch Lord God into the world in Jesus name Amen Thank you, my friend. Well, I want to dedicate this place now to the Lord. And I wrote the dedication, and I'll read it to you now. Be prayerful as I do. I believe we're standing on holy ground. Today, March 4th, 2023, we open and dedicate this studio to the Lord. May these consecrated grounds be a place where Jesus is glorified, where the Word is the final authority, where believers are discipled, where souls are saved, where the sick are healed, where the bound are delivered, where the demonized are set free, where the prophetic flows, where worship sounds out, where the presence of the Holy Spirit marks the atmosphere and where he is free to do as he wills. The Holy Spirit is not just tolerated here. He's celebrated, honored, and most welcome. May we see a move of God, and may that move touch the nations of the world. Lord Jesus, we dedicate this studio to your gospel, to your glory, and to the expansion of your kingdom. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Would you all stand to your feet, please?